All right, so I figured I would go into a little bit more detail about some of the things in my box here. Just sort of share some thoughts and ideas with you all. Um, some of it doesn't really need a whole lot of explanation. Others may a little bit. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Headlamps, that's pretty basic. Just need light sources for stuff. Um, same with the Lucy Lantern. Always handy to have around. I generally don't keep my main headlamp in this box. It's riding in here right now because I haven't been out in a little bit, but typically I wouldn't leave this one in there. I'd just leave my backup one um, for a friend or anybody else who might need uh, a headlamp or if mine goes out. This is Bendable Jesus. He, um, yeah, he, He's just a little toy that travels around with me for a while. I was I was having fun and taking pictures of him in all sorts of different places just to have this funny little thing going and I would send it to my friends, but now he just kind of rides along. I don't know, he's just looking out. Uh, duct tape, again, pretty straightforward. I like these little mini rolls of the Gorilla Tape because it's a little more compact and a usable size that's not that big wide roll. Uh, this this was made for me by a student that I that I worked with and took out on quite a few different trips, and it just kind of reminds me of working with kids and making sure that we get as many people outside as possible. Um, this kid worked all summer to try to perfect his his knots and finally got a really good one that he was proud of and gave it to me at the end of the summer. So it's kind of a sentimental thing. Also, I could use the paracord if I needed to at some point. Uh, doubt I ever will. It's all crimped up and, and weird when it come, when you take these things apart, but figured I'd hold on to it. Reminds me of all those fun kids I've worked with throughout the years. Um, basic stuff, patch kits. This one's from Thermarest. It's just got some tear aid in here and some alcohol wipes so I can clean the surface before I wanted to patch anything. It could, it works for, uh, for Thermarest or for any pad. It also works for some Gore-Tex type stuff too, if you needed to fix something. Uh, I have way too many pins in here, I've found out. Um, I like to carry a couple Sharpies just in case I need to write some things down, but clearly I've been adding them over time. Got a couple different colors in here. Could definitely do some art at this point with all the stuff that I have. But uh, nevertheless, it always seems like there's a, a need for a pen or for a marker. So I have a lot of those stored up in here as well. Uh, lots of different lighters. Again, kind of like the pens, seems like always in need of a lighter. This one's Denver Broncos, Colorado Roots right there. Uh, cool. This is really special and really important to me. This is um, a journal I wrote from a Grand Canyon trip I took in 2015. And uh, it's pretty fun. I read over it all the time. I, I It was one of my better journaling um, experiences. I was able to write every day and do all sorts of uh, fun little entries. Um, at the end of each day, I would kind of write down how many river miles we went, where we camped, um, the rapids that we went through this day. Apparently, there's only one major rapid, what our dinner was, beef stroganoff, pan fried green beans. Uh, and then the weather, a little weather report at the end, too, is kind of fun. Um, this thing's been super fun to revisit over the years. I read it a lot when I'm out and just kind of do a lot of recollection about my experiences from being down in the Grand Canyon. Uh, this particular brand of notepad is awesome right in the rain. It's it's weatherproof and uh, tearproof. It's pretty sweet. This thing will probably never fall apart, which is awesome. Um, this is an itinerary, again, from a Grand Canyon trip. This one was from the 2015 trip as well. Just lots of different printouts of things that we had planned and where we where we were hoping to camp and what we were shooting for on our trip. Uh, other basic stuff. This is a, a combination wrench, crescent wrench. Um, works great on raft frames, other things you might need to repair. Just making sure that you have a, a, a wrench around is, is I've found to be really important and doesn't take up much space. 
you kind of be the hero too. Lots of people will be like, ah, we need a wrench. Who's got a wrench? And then you just have all your stuff you hear it set in your kit and like, oh yeah, I got that. Uh, more, more patching stuff. There's always things that rip and tear and um, get a little bit messed up. This one's called Gear Aid. It's very similar to Tear Aid. It works on puffy down vests, jackets, things like that, sleeping bags, whatever, whatever gets a hole in it. Or Sharpies. This is some poetry. Um, it might be a little outdated at this point. I'm not sure. Um, I've vi revisited this one in a while. Um, also have some stuff, on, fun stuff on the back here of some some kitchen assignments and some boating assignments for for a trip that I was on a couple years ago. Fun to look back on. This is cool. So this is a micro machine. This is a Ferrari Testarossa, or not a Testarossa. I'm sorry. Um, it's a it's a Magnum PI looking Ferrari. Uh, these things were cool when I was a kid, and I keep it in there because it's fun to think about being a kid. It's fun to remember being a kid. It's important to remember being a kid. And this little guy is just one of the last vestiges vestiges of of uh, my childhood toys. So it rides around in the bottom of my of my uh, box. Charging cord. This plugs into my solar panel. I can charge GoPros and uh, my little charging brick and things like that. Kind of handy. The wind's picking up, so I'm gonna weight some things down. A little micro cloth. This thing's also really handy. Cleans sunglasses, cleans camera lenses, uh, cleans the surface of my solar panel if I need to. Just nice to have, have that around. This is really fun. I was introduced to this by some friends uh, from Eugene, Oregon. This is called Button on a String. And apparently it was quite the toy back in the analog days. Um, and all it is is really just this little rhythmic activity where you get to spin a button on a string. It's made out of ribbon and a one inch button. And I find it to be pretty soothing and also really fun. A little bit of skill mastery, trying to figure out different ways to play with a button on a string. You'd be surprised how long you can do this for. I've seen people do it on their toes. You can do all sorts of fun things and keep it going. Um, yeah, again, just kind of fun childhood type things. Really cool. I could keep doing this forever. I won't because that get, would get boring for you to watch. More poems, more handwritten letters, things that are kind of fun. Things I like to look over and read every once in a while. Here's my actual backup headlamp. It's one of the tiny little ones with the little spring actuated um, headbands on it. Again, just in case I I need a secondary one or somebody loses one or one goes down. This was my favorite lure when I was a kid, so it has some sentimental value to it. And it also might catch me a fish one day if I need to go out and catch a fish. Um, I have some fishing line in my other box that I use, uh, and so if I had to, I'd rather be fly fishing, but if I had to, I could throw this little spinner out there. Um, also just reminds me of fishing with my grandpa when I was a kid. This stuff's really fun here. It's a drawing that my nephew made. Uh, his name's Eli, and he was drawing some different stormtroopers. I have a lot of these different ones in there. I'll try to breeze through them because they're not the most interesting, but they're really, really important to me. They give me a smile on my face every time I look at them. This is a picture of me and my sister. That's it. That's my older sister, Amy. It's pretty beat up. I like it. I am not a proponent of taking things from places I've been to, but this dust and dirt came out of uh, my shoes from two trips, one on Gates of Lador and one down um, the Grand Canyon. And so I just threw, threw some desert sand, sand in there. Um, I don't do much with it these days, but it came home with me uh, without me knowing it. And then I found it in the bottom of my dry bag. And so I was like, well, I'll keep it. Mm. More drawings, Eli, quite the artist. 
more Star Wars stuff. This is cool. This is a little sewing kit that I have in here. Um, if I need to do a field repair or take care of something out in the woods, it's got little things. It's a couple needles and some of this. This is like high tensile kind of nylon string. It works good for, for heavier repairs. These ones I just take when I go places. Lots of hotels and stuff have little sewing kits. Um, I grab them. Got a couple buttons, safety pins in there as well. All packed neatly inside this little Trader Joe's green tea mint container. Broken river knife sheath doesn't work anymore, but the knife is still totally fine. And these river knives are just really durable, really handy. Um, they make it pretty easy to, to chop through stuff. So if I ever do need a backup knife, I've got that as well. Birthday card from a friend, kind of fun. I won't read it to you just cause that's for me, but these kind of things are important. It's important for us to be able to kind of have some moments of reflection when we're out there. Uh, Leatherman, this is my good Leatherman. I keep it in here. It's got all sorts of tools on it as well. It's Leatherman charged, um, titanium. Always comes in handy in a pinch. I've replaced car batteries. I think one time I replaced an alternator in a, in a vehicle as well with just this. So in a pinch, it can really save the day. Um, just a little field guide. I really, I'm fascinated by butterflies. And so it's kind of fun to have this out there. And when I see a new one, I try to look it up or snap a photo and then come back and reference it in my, in my field guide. More handwritten notes. These are both broken at this point, unfortunately. I still try to wear them every once in a while. Uh, I was a huge Kanye West fan for a long time, and he made these famous at one point uh, with a song called Stronger. And I like to wear them when uh, the sun goes down and there's a fire going. They're kind of just fun. Good for a costume party, things like that. These ones are broken as well. They used to have a battery in them that lit up and they had these lights that went all around them. It was a fun time. I'll figure out a way to use them again someday. A couple salves. These are just salves that my friends have made. Work good for cracks on the hands, cracks on the lips, uh, anything like that. Uh, one of these actually is good for sore joints and muscles as well. So. That's kind of fun. Super glue doesn't need a lot of explanation, but definitely comes in handy at times when you're doing field repairs too. This is fun. This is a little book of quotes, both quotes that I like and um, quotes that I hear people say on trips, which is fun. Um, working with kids over time, you tend to get a lot of funny things being said. So I like to be able to write down what kids say and what, what people say and so I can reflect back on it and maybe have a laugh or maybe be inspired by it. I don't know why these are in there. I think um, friends gave both of these to me. I do like to fly fish and I like to uh, fish for trout. So I've got some stickers in here. Maybe I'll find a good place for them to land one day. This one's from Happy Camp. Pretty special place in my heart up on the Klamath River. Let's see what else is interesting in here. Got some more pictures. Yeah. More artwork by Eli. Lots of that. He's a special kid. One day I hope I can uh, get on some more rivers with him. Our goal is to make it down the Grand Canyon together someday. So kind of a recurring theme. That's a cool place in my heart. This is me when I was a kid. Uh, it's my little sister Heidi, and this is a fun picture. I like having it, I like remembering being a kid. This is my dad. He's a big car guy. Uh, some of these pictures they don't they don't fare super well because any level of humidity they tend to start sticking to each other. The glossy print on there, but that's my dad Fred, and uh, he's out there at Bonneville Speedway, which is a place where they do lots of car testing and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't with him on that day, but. Makes me happy seeing it. Uh, more, this is Gore-Tex 
uh, uh, patching kits, a uh, picture of me and my middle school cross country team. That's me over there looking up. I, I don't know why I was looking up, but I, I have a certain level of reverence for this, this man right here. And uh, that picture's super cool to me. Uh, there's a picture of my first day kayaking back here too, but it's stuck right now. So I'll try to work and get that apart at some point. This was my first day ever uh, whitewater rafting. Didn't realize how big of a day that would be and how, how much whitewater would play into my life moving forward. I thought this was just one of those tourist moments where I got to go rafting with my buddies here, all these goofballs. Um, that's me right there. And turns out be, it became a pretty central focus in my life. So that's a fun picture for me to have as well. Uh, a couple more things. I won't go through everything in here. Uh, got an army man. Again, play, have fun, be a kid. Audubon book, this one's really good. It's, it's not the most exhaustive, but it's got lots of good information on lots of different things. It goes through birds, mammals, fish. Um, a lot of plant life, some geography in here too. Um, just a good book to have around. It answers most questions on any given day. Uh, card, cards, love cards. I know three seems a little excessive, but when you're out with groups of people, people get bored, people are trying to entertain themselves. These things can um, really come in handy. Ooh, batteries. Oh, this, this doesn't seem important, but this is a hair scrunchie thing, a little hair tie. I, I can't count the amount of times that people have asked me if they have one of these, if I have one of these to give them. Um, so I collect them whenever I can and I, I wash them and then I make sure I have a couple around in case people need to tie their hair back. Um, got some dice in here too, again, just playing games. Having fun doing that sort of stuff. Last thing I think I'll share is this guy. This is uh, not the most impressive agate, but my mom found this on a beach in Oregon. And she gave it to me. She uh, polished it up, hand polished it, and kind of made it look pretty. And I like it. I, again, I didn't take it out of the woods, but um, she did. She gave it to me. So now I keep it with me when I go places. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's just... It's, it's just cool and important to have a box like this that you can kind of go through. Some of the stuff might save the day. Some of it might just uh, make your day. And so, yeah, I uh, figured I'd share it with you all. Really encourage everybody to, to figure out a way to create something like this for yourself so that you can have, um, have options when you're out when you're outside. This, this stuff comes in handy on a regular basis, whether you're feeling lonely, whether you're feeling down, whether you're feeling bored, or you're in a pinch and you need some duct tape. So, again, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, uh, stay tuned as well. We're going to go through some more uh, packing ideas and thoughts, and I'll keep sharing my system with you as, uh, as we get these posts up.